Okay, so part two. Um, <clears throat> yep. Yep, it's recording. We're good. Um, <clears throat> okay, so like, first thing I wanted to say is kind of give you guys an update on on Brad and on uh, Mad Inc. Um, originally, I had emailed you guys and asked like who's available to drive up to Ransburg because honestly, there's there's really no substitute for just going up there and understanding what it's all about. Like, if you don't do go through the pain in the ass of driving up to Ransburg and getting yourself there, and then feeling what it's all about, then you can't really like internalize what it is. The, what's the product we're trying to sell? Um, <clears throat> but on the topic of like. You never know which dog is going to hunt, and sometimes flaky projects turn into good ones. Um, Brad is always, like, on the borderline of flaking out. Like, the guy's got a date. He's basically an auto mechanic, you know. He, he used to race uh, race sprint cars. Um, he's got a day job down in, in the valley, um, like, doing auto mechanic stuff. And he he's, he's like, I finally heard back from him on, te on, uh, on my text last night, and... Evidently, he's doing some project with SpaceX right now, which is, I'm sure, partially an excuse because he's like, yeah, the phone was in the car. We're not allowed to take the phones in with this. Whatever, dude. Like, just <laughs> you either get back to me in a timely manner or you don't. Um, but um, cool that he eventually closed the loop. He is still interested in the project. He's got somebody else working on it right now because there was a gap in time. And honestly... The last class's um, team was really gung-ho when they first went to Ransburg because it's cool. And then, you know, they, they call and text Brad and they don't hear back from him for two weeks and they're like, what the fuck? Like, they, they, get, they lose motivation. And then he gets back to us and I get everybody pumped up again and then two weeks go by and Brad doesn't get back to us. So um, part of the lesson here is, like, whether it's Brad or Linda... Uh, which is what we're going to focus on right now, and, and that's going to be, like, project number one for us going forward is Potty Boss. Um, you guys, as a team, whoever the leader is and handing off who's available what day, um, you got to pester these people. Like, you got to pester Linda, you got to pester Brad, whichever project, and just make sure you keep following up every day until you get we get the information and the answers we need. Sometimes they just get busy doing their stuff, and it's not that they don't care. It's just part of our job is to be the squeaky wheel. So um, I did hear back from him. Um, we did not waste our time talking about that project so far. Um, I'm going to – because Brad did not get back to me sooner and Linda is more, like, hungry right now, um, we're going to focus on the person who is more interested in working right now. But – haven't wasted the time on Mad Ink. That's kind of on the shelf, and we may get back to it later, okay? Um, first thing I wanted to go over is the project plan for this class, so uh, for this project. Um, I need to send this to you. So um, somebody – actually, no. Let me just go into my Outlook here quick. right after help dad get uber paypal set up working again the next to do is email av team with all relevant body boss materials Okay, so um, big pic. Can you, oh, what happened to the screen? Maybe they turned it off. How we were done for the day. Maybe. There you go. 
There. No. Yeah. Okay. Serena, suggestions? <laughs> You just had to come up here. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to send you guys this spreadsheet. This is this is the like master plan overview of everything I could think of in a brain dump of what has to happen for this project to be successful. So, um, you know, for Linda to raise a decent amount of money to be able to like pay the manufacturers in China deliver on this and, and get this invention up into a going concern, uh, this is what has to happen. So um, I basically got tasks in the first column, person responsible, uh, the next deliverable, and then uh, start date and deadline. So um, I've, just, I've left it intentionally as vague as possible, like they're soon mid-range and later. So. The first things that have to happen, and the, the very first one here is what we're going to go over the rest of the, the, the time today, is finishing the development of their Indiegogo page. It's actually not on GoFundMe or Kickstarter. This one's on Indiegogo. Uh, we need to finish editing that site, and we need to develop the actual Potty Boss website materials so that we can tell the story effectively. Um, so that's task number one. I'm going to go through go through uh, a lot more detail on how to use Dreamweaver um, going forward. Uh, I'll also kind of just talk big picture about what we're trying to accomplish. If you guys, after this webinar, find that it's still easier to use Wix to do this stuff, um, there's just a basic color scheme, uh, basic color scheme and layout. Um, things that we need to make sure are present in the Wix site. But if you find that it's easier to use Wix, just make sure you use the right color and the right layout. And you're welcome to use that if you find it easier than using Dreamweaver. But um, I'm going to go through a lot more useful, useful ways to manipulate Dreamweaver today. Um, so that's task number one. Um, and that really needs to be done ASAP. So um, I'd like by next weekend when we meet, to have, like, I, I'd like be, I'd like when you send me your update this Wednesday, Thursday, um, I want to see an an updated web page and an updated Indiegogo site. Like, they may not be done, but I want you to make as a team, you know, trade off who's going to do what when. Um, I want to see as much progress as possible by Wednesday, Thursday on that website. That's task number one. Um, Task number two is to do a brain dump um, of friends and family that you guys know of who are um, parents, uh, particularly ones who are opinion leaders with their, their friend set or in their community uh, that you think would be willing to say nice things about the potty boss. Um, so what I'd like to see after the, yes? Huh? Both. I mean, if they really think it sucks, then I want to know. But, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, people who are legitimately interested in seeing this project be successful, that's what we're looking for. Um, and what I want there is, is simply a, a spreadsheet from each of you. Um, you know, name and, name and, like, how you're connected to that person and how to contact them. So... Uh, could be, you know, uh, you know, Jane Smith, personal friend, um, you know, phone contact. You don't have to give me the phone number. Just say, I will contact them by phone. Or um, if you have, uh, if you can put it in a link to their Facebook page or their LinkedIn page, it's really useful for me to surf around the information of the people that you guys know 
because it helps me think of ways that I'm also connected to them in some way or things about the project that might be useful to mention. Um, it's a useful brainstorming thing to me. So if you can give me a link to their Facebook or LinkedIn page, uh, it's useful to, to help brainstorm about, uh, about the project. So that's the next thing is to <clears throat> make lists, everybody in here, of, of uh, friend and family champions that you think will, will give us honest feedback on the product. And hopefully, if they like the product, we'll say nice things about it to other people. Um, <clears throat> Linda already has a list of various friends and family that she's put together. Um, I, first of all, and then as much as possible handing things over to you, need to coordinate with her so that we reach out to those people, get their feedback as possible, get their commitments. Obviously, if people like it enough, uh, we want your friends and family, too, to buy Potty Bosses and be part of the, 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 the GoFundMe campaign. So, um you know, if everybody says nice things, but nobody donates to the campaign, it's not really a success. So um, once we have these lists put together, the next thing is to you know, do outreach and, and get people to, to donate to the project. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking that, <clears throat> excuse me, in-class presentations, kind of like what I did for the Condors, will be relevant. So we want to identify which, you know, what classes meet when and, and who's going to present what when. Um, I, I also want to look at what other kinds of events would be relevant to present a little spiel about the Potty Boss at. Meetup.com is awesome. Um, I am not a parent, so in this case, I am like less helpful in knowing where a lot of parents gather. But uh, I'm sure you know various school meetings, like after-school activities, daycare, etc., are probably good good starting points for for like gathering areas but I'd, I'd like you guys to brainstorm where are there opportunities to like glad hand with a lot of people and say hey isn't this cool check this thing out um and then um we well, just missed a big one well, I was gonna say the poppy festival that was awesome. for the animal valley that's that's the big thing that in the fair mm -hmm. uh well i can't do anything about missing the poppy festival last yeah. week but good job. Put it <laughs> put it on put it on the list for next year. So Believe me, Linda will still need money next year too. Like Well, do a brain dump, even if they're past, uh, it's good to know about for the future. Obviously, things that we could have somebody from this group, including myself, be present at between now and June are more useful than things that happened in the past. But um, everything we do on this project, we're not going to get done, unfortunately, raising. Yes, Ashley. Um, I am a parent, and um, my, both of my daughter's birthdays are coming up, and I have a huge list of uh huh. Ashley, can I ask a question quick? Are you Ashley E E or E Y? E Y. Okay. Because there's another Ashley in Bakersfield. Sorry, thank you.
It's plastic. Uh huh. Get on the toilet without help and to on the public toilet. Um, or not put her hands down for her feeling safe. I don't know that she would actually fall in, but she doesn't feel. Yeah. Um, are they designed to fold? No. Yeah, they are actually. The potty boss is designed to fold. Louis, what picture are you looking at? Well, no, it it folds up like a laptop case actually. Yeah. Like it it folds together. So that the the, the, the 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 surfaces that like get the the surfaces that get dirty get folded inside and it it looks like a it looks like a, a like a little laptop brief like case. What is the size of it when it's inches? About the size of a laptop, more or less. Um, I mean it. Oh, is this a case? Oh my. It it folds up like a case and then folds out. Yeah, the, the picture doesn't do it justice. This is the kind of stuff that we need to brainstorm right now. Like, Linda needs to understand that she needs a picture that shows how the fold-up works. There's a gun show this weekend. Cool! Right, right, right. Dude, you can sell them there. Uh, on a side note, yep. Just put a Robinson logo on them. Yep. Is yeah. Or Especially make sure that it also kid, fits on top of a five-gallon bucket. Especially the kid that can't pee with people watching. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, I don't know what to do here because I need to hold you not sitting on this porta potty, not a chance, and you, but you can't pee. I'm looking at you. Baby. <laughs> yeah. No. It that's it, it. That's exactly what it's designed for. Yeah. Uh, it folds up pretty well. There's actually nice little like uh, uh, backpacks and purses that. She sells as well to, to like conveniently carry it, but it actually folds up with a handle that doesn't look like it doesn't look like a toilet right. seat. It just looks like a little like laptop case. Mm -hmm. um, but my thought is, if I, if I could get it like maybe possibly for the birthday party, then I could have it. Yeah, I. I love it. I love it. I I made a note of that. Um, I want to make sure we get to the actual web development stuff today, but no, please, this is exactly what I want you guys to do. Please, after this class, like amongst yourselves, do a brain dump of everything you're talking about right now, pictures that we're missing, concerns you have, like events that, like you mentioned, that might be able to, to be relevant to show it at, uh, including the gun show. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, but... Put that all in a big document, Fo folks. I love, I love, I love the fact, <laughs> love the fact that you're actually talking about the project. <laughs> make sure, like, let me get to the web development stuff, and make sure that you dump all of these comments, all these ideas into a word document, whatever. Email it to me as the update this Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, got it. Okay, so. Um, moving on to the web materials, I'm going to send you this project plan that has everything else that comes later as well. But the the important stuff I already went over. We need like places, events to show it at. We need lists of people that would be potentially interested, and we need to finish these website materials. So, moving on to the website materials portion. Um, 
Here's the Indiegogo site as it stands right now. Um, I'll send you guys a link to this site. Um, yeah, I did the same thing when I typed in Potty Boss. Like, she needs to know that, too. Like, if somebody goes to Indiegogo and types in Potty Boss, it doesn't come up. I think... What? Uh, partially because Linda, like, doesn't... Like, there's, there's, she doesn't communicate well what, what she has and what she doesn't sometimes. So I didn't know about that site. PottyBoss.me... Yeah, at That's our website. Cool. Find it. Cool. Um, so let me add that. So this, this is the Indiegogo site. Basically, um, I'm going to send you guys this link. I want you to scroll through it and look at it. Um, I think the reason, Tom, that you can't find it right now is because it's still a draft campaign. It's not actually, she didn't actually click go live. Um, but anyway, I think there's some edits that we need to make to this, and I'm going to describe them later. Um, so if you don't want to have to go back and listen to the webinar again, when I get to that point, take notes. Or, you know, going forward, someone please take notes on what we're talking about here. That way you don't have to go back and listen to this whole recording again. Um, but I'm going to go over some things that I think need to be edited about this site. Uh, and then it's, I need to get the password and username from Linda, and then I'll send them to you guys. You can go in and edit this site. Um, what, this? Yeah. You don't like it? It doesn't make any sense. I was just, like, at least, like, protect their little body when they go public. Um, yeah. Or. Yeah. No. But I don't really like it. Write it down in the, write everything down in the. It says it here, protect their body, protect their little body when they go public. Okay, so, Louis, tell me again, pottyboss.me? Pottyboss.me, yeah. God, why can't she just tell me that? <laughs> and if you scroll down... Oh, my God! Professor, scroll down and it actually says, protect their little body when they go potty. Right there, up there, up top, right there, yep. in the blue. Well, uh, you can see... Um, <laughs> I mean, Linda, Linda is really excited about this, but, you know, she's going in a lot of directions at once, and she may just never notice that she needed to correct the grammar on that one. So, um, and this is a better site to work off of if you ask me. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this is... I think that because it's, it's a product that doesn't really exist, there's got to be a lot that goes into making sure that it's clear what it is. Yeah. And if you Google no, I, I, I agree. Cool. I wish that were like the second result that came when I Googled like Linda's brain and I asked her, <laughs> what is what is the, the website? Yeah, Facebook, and she didn't tell me that. It was Facebook first and then that side was the second. Okay, so let me put this in here. Um, let me go to the third site, which I actually was going to go over today. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Like, the, the placeholder that I had um, Linda's web development person create for us was pottyboss.com forward slash dream team. Like, and the, the message that I wanted to send, I mean, you guys are welcome to, to talk back and, like, suggest something else. But, um, I mean, basically, it's just another way to sell the potties, you know? It's, we, it's called crowdfunding, but really it's just a way to sell the, the potty seats at a markup and use the extra profit as uh, equity capital for the business. So, like, in order to make people feel excited about it, I think they need to feel a part, like a part of, of, like, a part of achieving this dream. So, I was thinking that... Um, Founding Pooper? Huh? <laughs> Founding Pooper? Yeah. Uh, I, I like it. I mean... Um, in, in general, um, you know, we're looking for people that want to be part of the team that made this company and this product an initial success. Um, that's, that's kind of the message that I was, uh, I was thinking of going with. You guys are welcome to correct it, but uh, that's, that's, that's what the, 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 like, the Dreamweaver like, thing that I'm about to go over is, is, is about. So 
This is the other site. I agree. Um, the issue with pottyboss.me, we need a way to edit it. Like, like, you know, for example, I love this. Um, I want to I want to lay out the pictures in a different format. I want to make them a little smaller, and I want to put text next to it so that you know who this is and what event this was. And all of these people, like, you know, these people are, you know, leaders in this community. They're famous for this reason. And they say, two thumbs up, potty boss, you know? Um, like, but in order to make those edits, um, we need, like, Dreamweaver is the, the, the tool to use to do that. Um, assuming that it's set up in an easy way for us to manipulate. So let me go through the lesson today based on the template that I have. Um, and then, like, I want you guys to, I want you guys between now and, like, the end of next week to beef up that site and the Indiegogo site as much as possible and make a list of, you know, we couldn't do this, but this would actually be the things we want to do if we could make it work, okay? And then I'll coordinate with her, like, web uh, web design person, and we'll see if we can, like, we, we'll see if we can supercharge the amateur job that we did in the next week to get the information in the format that we think it should be in, even if it looks kind of hokey, and we'll, we'll help, we'll get it polished off after that. Make sense? Okay, so moving on to the actual Dreamweaver part of the lecture. Um, so I think most of you have downloaded Dreamweaver and Photoshop trials right now, right? So the very first thing you got to do is go in and set up a Dreamweaver site for Potty Boss. Okay, so you're going to click on Dreamweaver site. You can call this whatever you want. I just call it Potty Boss. Um, and then you're going to go, you got to like tell it where to put, cool. Uh, you got to tell it where on your local drive to put the folder that contains all the files for the website, okay? It doesn't matter where you put it. You just need to like put it where you want it to be on your local computer so that it's easy for you to go to and add files to and stuff. So, uh, on my particular folder, it's actually in this, well, here, let me cancel that and open up the actual site I have. Um, this is the location for mine. I just called it Potty Boss website, and it's underneath, it's in a folder called uh, Small Business Development Center Projects. Um, you're going to need that, and then you need to go to servers and... Uh, I've already got the information here. You are going to click on the plus sign to add a server. And this is the information you need for the server. So this is a good time to take notes if you don't want to go back and listen to the webinar again. FTP.netfirms.com is the FTP address that you need. The username is Potty Boss lowercase, all one word, and the password is actually, um, go back here, the password is let millions dollar 36, right there, capital L, E T T millions dollar sign 36. Did someone write that down? Okay, good. That Username is Potty Boss, all one word. FTP.netfirms.com. Um, Uh, I just copied and pasted it, so I'd like to remember to email it to you again. But yes, please. One less thing you have to do if you wrote it down now. 
Um, <clears throat> so going back to Dreamweaver, once you've got that site set up, um, you're going to be able to select here on the right-hand side, like what website you want to look at. So if I go to Germ, that, this is my like personal website. It brings up all the files for that for me to edit. And then if I want to work on the Potty Boss website, there's a little folder that says Potty Boss. Once you've set up that Potty Boss FTP server information, you're going to have this little Potty Boss thing here. Then you're going to click on the Connect to Remote Server button. And initially, you're not going to have anything in the folder on your local computer. Everything is out there on the net right now. Um, but as soon as you connect, um, you'll see local view and remote view. Okay? So as soon as you set up the FTP information, you're going to go in and just click on synchronize with remote server, this little, like, circly arrow thing. And you're going to do entire potty boss site, get and put newer files. Okay? Preview. It'll take a second for Potty Boss to go, like the, for Dreamweaver to go through every file and check what, what is newer on the remote site, what is newer on the local site. Are there files that are on one place and not the other? As soon as it's finished doing that, you'll have this summary of what files have to be put to the remote server, which files have to be gotten from the remote server. You don't have to, all you have to do once you get this little list is click OK. And then Dreamweaver will go in and it will make sure to synchronize so that everything on your local computer is exactly the same as what's on the Potty Boss website. Make sense? Yes, no, maybe? Okay. So we'll wait for a second as it synchronizes. Okay, and now it's done. So everything is now up to date. Um, now, what you're going to want to do once you've synchronized and have all the documents on your local drive is go into this public underscore HTML file folder and open up the page that says dreamteam.html. Oops. Make sure that it's on local view when you do that, and then go down to the public HTML and open up the Dream Team document. Okay. It then comes up looking something like this, which is actually not the way it looked before. <laughs> but because I'm on, uh, because I'm on the uh, the projector here, it comes up slightly differently. Um, let me point out various things in kind of rapid succession. Like, pay attention, take notes. Um, it'll all be recorded as well. But like, the more the more you remember now, the less you have to listen to on the recording again later. Um, First thing to point out up here in the upper left-hand side, design mode, split mode, which actually will show you the code. This is actually what the computer sees. This is all the actual like code programming, um, which corresponds to what you see visually over here. And then you've got just a pure code window right here. Um, so if you're manipulating things visually, you're going to use design mode. We're going to use split mode in a second here because that's one of the ways that you're going to be able to edit some of the things on the site. But uh, first of all, I wanted to point out those three buttons. Um, that if, if, it, if you put design, it just shows you visually. Split has the code on one side and the design on the other. Code is then just the code. So you'll also notice, if I do it on split here, source code normalize.min, like these are different levels of like code. 
for our purposes in editing the site, you want it to be on source code. Okay, so um, when you go if, if when you go to do things that involve the code, put it in split mode, and make sure that you're on source code up here in the upper left hand side. Okay, everybody follow me so far? Huh? So you have to open up a file. So, um, lower right hand corner on your, but you, you probably can't do it right now um, because you haven't synchronized the site yet. By clicking on the little circle arrows here in the lower right hand side, you see what I'm pointing at? So, like, the steps that I just went through, first, you have to add a website, put in that FTP information, and then you'll see the website as one of the options in the folders here. Select it, and then uh, click on Synchronize with Remote Server. And then you're going to select Entire Potty Boss Site, and get and put newer files. And that allows you to synchronize everything that's up on the remote site with your local site. So there's nothing really displayed on the page at the moment. I have the problem. Like, there's nothing on the right hand side. Um, let me, like, in the interest of time, let me go through the rest of what I wanted to show. It'll be recorded, so if nothing else, you can go back and just listen to the webinar, and then I'll help you. I'll help to problem solve. I, there's a number of reasons why it might not be working. Um, nobody else can see what I'm doing if I just go over to your laptop. So let me solve that after. Okay. Um, okay. So that's design versus split versus code modes. Um, if I go back to just design mode. Um, some of the things that are useful and available to do is, you know, you can edit this text just by typing here. You can add an image just by going into insert image. So basically cancel. If, uh, if we go down to the next page, uh, cause I don't have a picture of the potty boss yet. Um, if I make an extra space there and then go to insert image, um, I've got a bunch of images here of the, the potty boss. If I want to insert that, you'll notice that it comes out way too big because the file wasn't sized properly. If you right click here and edit with Photoshop, that'll then open up Photoshop and allow you to size the picture properly. So the problem here is just image, image size, 1,200 pixels wide. Like we need something that's about like 150 pixels wide. Um, you'll kind of have to just play with things a little bit to to get to know what number to use, but we need to resize that into something that's about 150 pixels and then just save the file. And then if we go back to Dreamweaver and right click again and go reset size, now the picture's the right size. So you can insert images by going to insert image uh, you can type text just by going in and typing text. And a lot of what I need you to do is just go in and put pictures and text into this website to tell the story we're trying to tell. Okay? So that's a lot of what you need to do. Um, the thing that you are going to need split mode for um, is to actually like be able to add 
more like these little sections here, docking station, carrying bags, the basic potty boss. Um, like who or what is the potty boss, the original like thing that I had there. Um, all of those things are in an, a template that like their web developer originally made for us. So this little section here, you'll see if I like highlight it with my cursor and then click on it. Um, it's all sort of one big box. In order to add more cells in here, um, you need to actually copy and paste the, uh, the relevant code. So if you go down to where it says carrying bags here, if we want to add another like cell underneath that, we need to go to where it says section and just highlight everything down to where it says section again. Copy. And then get to the like beginning of the next line, paste. And then you'll notice that it just added another cell right below there that says carrying bags. Um, if you're going to be editing this part right here, the only way that you can add more cells is by copying and pasting the code like that. Um, it's it's a bit of a like inconvenient workaround, but that's the way you edit that. Um, and if that was unclear right now, that's why I'm recording all this, so you can go back and look at it again. Um, and uh, uh, Valerie, I'll help problem solve what's going on for you when we get when I get done. Um, adding now, if you want to completely add something new. You can also um, go in and, uh, you know, for example, if we don't like the way this whole big, like, chunk is working and we don't want to copy and paste code, you can highlight the entire item, just backspace, it's gone. We can highlight this, the dream thing, backspace, it's gone. Um, if you put the cursor inside of the middle area here, you'll notice on the right hand side, summary for selection. Like, wherever you put the cursor, um, the information on the right hand side here is going to change. If you need to make, if you want to just start with a fresh slate, delete all the stuff that's there, and then Put your cursor in the middle area, and uh, you'll notice here where it says width. Uh, as soon as you click on width, down here under properties, um, you've got all kinds of stuff. Font, line height, font width. Um, there's a lot of stuff you're going to have to just play with and, uh, and surf through, but having done this myself to figure it out for you, Width, margin, height. If you go in and select height and type in something like a thousand pixels, you'll notice actually in this case it made the top part a thousand pixels too, so we'll have to go back in and reselect. But the way the way that you edit the size of something, the way that you edit the color and the background, the way that you edit anything about an element in Dreamweaver is by highlighting it or putting your cursor on it. And then over here on this side are all of the features of that item that you can edit. So um, actually the stuff up here at the top for summary for selection is all listed properties for HTML here. Actually, this list right here, which I'll make the window a little bigger. This list actually under properties for HTML contains every single damn thing that you can edit 
about that item. The summary for selection is just like place markers. It'll take you immediately to some of the most important parts. But the master list of every possible thing you can edit about that item is here under properties for article. That will allow you to change the color, change the font, change the size uh, of things on the screen. Um, once you've gotten the screen to look the way you want it to, if you want to just insert a new cell or box and do things yourself rather than using the, uh, using the template, you just go to insert um, layout objects and go to AP div. Why it's called AP div, I have no freaking idea, but AP div Everything's like the wrong size of this damn screen now. Um, there. It'll insert a new box. You can highlight that box, make it bigger, make it smaller, put text in it. If you highlight that text, you can then go in and change the font size. So we got 12, point 12 pixels. No, a little too small. Maybe uh, 18 pixels. Oh. <laughs> 1182 is going to be way too big. You can change everything about it by editing the right hand side here. Um, and then you can put the boxes wherever you want on the screen. You can add images to them, et cetera, et cetera. So um, between copying and pasting the code and highlighting, deleting, adding boxes, you can pretty much make that page look however you want it to look. The way that you edit that, though, is by highlighting the thing that you want to edit and then changing the properties over here. It's a little bit... Like, it's a little bit different than what you're used to with Word or Excel or something else where you basically right-click and it gives you the options. You have to highlight something, and then there's so many options that you can't list them all on right-click. So as soon as you've highlighted something in Dreamweaver, all of the elements and, and, and characteristics that you can edit are over here on the right-hand side. Okay? I'm throwing a lot at you. Um, it's all recorded. Um, Worst case scenario, you give it your best shot, and I help a little bit to clean it up after you've like made your edits this coming week, and then we coordinate with their web development people to make it look prettier. But um, you'll be surprised once you start playing around with this stuff a little bit how much you're able to, to do and get done. Okay? So... Selecting page elements, I went through that. Deleting page elements, I went through that. Resizing empty midsection, yes. Um, so just to give you an idea, now that I've like added this box here, if you want to see what things are going to look like once you're done with all this messy editing view, just click on the button up here at the top that says Live. Okay? If you click on Live... It'll take a second for it to, like, update everything. But it'll actually show you what the website will look like to a visitor based on all the edits that you've made. So once you're done kind of moving things around, you want to see what it looks like with all the damn, without all the damn, like, like, without all the, 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 the like, arrows and, like, lines and stuff in the way. Um, based on the edits that I made, this this is what it looked like right now. And obviously, you'll notice I, I I clicked the wrong place, so I actually made every section a thousand pixels tall. We just wanted to make the middle section a thousand pixels tall. So, unfortunately, because I'm putting the site up on this monitor, like it's jacking up all of the all the visuals for for me. When I do it on my laptop without this, the way you look for you guys, um, it 
you can see more stuff on the screen. So you can highlight just the middle section and then change that without changing the whole thing. But just to give you an idea of how this works, this is exactly what what I just did would look like. So you'll notice you know, the, the top and the bottom are too big because I didn't highlight the right element because the damn screen is off because I'm putting it on the projector. Um, but all of the stuff that used to be in the middle of the screen is gone, and that new cell that I created is showing up right here. So whenever you're done making edits, if you want to see what it's going to look like to a visitor, um, you go in and click Live. Okay? Um, Now, the last two things I wanted to mention, um, you know, that's, okay, for, first of all, once you're finally done with all the edits, you have to click File, Save, and then you have to, I'm not going to save this because I actually just, like, completely ruined the page by doing the, the edits that I wanted to, the, 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 the examples. I don't want those examples. I just wanted to show you how to do things. So you have to go in, save the page, and then you have to go back and synchronize again. Okay? Any edits you made, when you're finally done, you've got it looking the way you want it to look, save the page, and then synchronize the whole site. And then if you go to your web browser and type in pottyboss.com forward slash dream team, um, you'll see the new page with all the edits that you made. Um, so uh, I'm not going to do that right now, uh, but that's what you would do. Uh, the last thing that I didn't show yet that I wanted to show um, is making links. So like I have this template here. Like the reason I want to have a separate page is because Indiegogo just gives you one page and it goes top to bottom. It's all branded with Indiegogo, it doesn't give you the chance to say, hey, click here for more information and then bring up another page with like all the details. Um, the reason we have pottyboss.com forward slash dream team is so that we can make as many pages as we want that are linked together. So if you want, you know, here's a one paragraph saying what the basic product is. If you want to see all kinds of more pictures, click here. Um, in order to do that, all you have to do is simply take the template, file, save as, and you're going to get it another name. So instead of Dream Team, they'll call this something like, um, you know, um, Potty Boss Picks. Um, now, you can't have spaces in the name of an HTML document, so it's got to be all one word together. Um, and then when you save it um, as a new page name, um, if we want this to link back to that, so basically now we're on we're on the uh, here. Let me go ahead and here's the dream the dream team page. If we want if we want the dream team page to link to the Potty Boss page, just highlight wherever you want the hyperlink to go. Highlight those words or highlight the picture if you want people to click on a picture. Highlight that, then go down here to the bottom where it says link, and you got a little folder to the right-hand side. Click on that, and that gives you all of the pages on your website. Just tell it, I want you to go to Potty Boss Picks, and then click OK. Now you got a hyperlink in there, so people, you know, if you want it for more information, click here. It'll go there. Okay, that is pretty much the details that I wanted to go over today. Um, the the last thing I wanted to say as a, a general general like big picture item before I, I go over the assignment again, and then we get out of here for the day. Um, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm teaching you guys stuff, like, I, I'm really, like, rolling up, we're rolling up our sleeves here and getting our hands dirty. Like, it's, you know, that if you want to try to get an idea out of your head and into a format that other people can, can understand, um, 
you have to just kind of roll up your hands, you know, roll up your sleeves and start editing things and try and make it work. And sometimes it works and it looks a little hokey, but at least you can explain what you were trying to explain. And then we bring the professionals back in and get them to make it look pretty. But if we wait for Linda's like web developer up in Ontario, Canada, who's doing this like as a favor right now to finally get around to making the edits that we send him on a list, uh, it'll be September. If we go in, make all the changes, and then say, Andre, you know, we don't, we're not web developers. Can you make this look pretty, please? Like, it's a lot easier for him to just go in and fix some of the formatting issues if we do the legwork and, you know, put the picture where we wanted it and put the words here and put the link here and then, ah, crap, like, it's not lined up properly when you put it on, on the web. Um, try your best. Click on things. Like, don't be afraid to, like, don't be afraid to screw it up. Just keep editing things on the right-hand side till you get it as close to what you wanted as possible. Publish it. Like, send me the update on Wednesday, Thursday to let me know, hey, we did the best. Here's the list of all the things that we need to do next. Um, and take a look. Um, and then we'll take it from there. Yes, Ashley. Well, I mean, you can only only one person can edit Dreamweaver at a time. So, yeah. Yes, yes, I can provide you that opportunity. Practically speaking, I need to meet with Linda and some of her owners next week. So um, if you can do as much as you can, like what, you know, maybe, maybe actually you work on it this afternoon and then Tom has some time on Monday and Louie has a little time on, on Tuesday. Whatever you can get done, it's just that much less that I have to do. Okay, and then next weekend, whatever we haven't been able to do, I'll give you more time to be able to work on as a group. Does that make sense? But just practically speaking, I have to have a meeting with the ownership team later this week, and um, anything you're able to do is that much less that I have to do before Wednesday or Thursday. Okay? Yes, uh, actually, Valerie and then Julie, right? But I said Valerie and then Julia. Sorry, Valerie beat you by like two seconds to the punch. What was your question, Valerie? Um, I was looking at her Facebook page, and I was wondering if you could look at the Yes. Yes. Um, uh, no, but yes, be between Valerie, um, in like, what I want you guys to send me, um, what I want you guys to send me, um, A, is just tell me, hey, Jeremy, we, we synchronized the site. We did as much as we could. Take a look. And then I want you to attach a document. Here's all of the other comments, questions, suggestions, et cetera, that we have. And in that list, please tell me we'd like to edit the Facebook page and we need the password. Yes, we can do that. Um, we'll do that, like, in the coming weeks, not right away. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Julia. So I'm going back to what Ashley was talking about. Uh huh. But if each of us makes edits and such, and we don't really coordinate what our vision is for the site, we kind of change the like, We don't have to have a common vision and goal of what we want the site to look like. And then I worry that it would create maybe some annoyance with each other. Like, I spent all this time doing it, and then you switch it up. Yeah. Well, first of all, um, for any, like, saving over things, like, this is one of the nice things about having a local copy and a web copy. Like, um, 
Ashley, if you went in and did all these cool edits and then Jared went in later and deleted some of them and did something else, like, if you don't click synchronize, if you go to the website and look, just type it into your browser, and, oh, crap, all, everything's different. Like, just don't save over the document you have. No, I, I understand that, but if, if I make changes and synchronize that changes the site, and then Julia goes in and makes changes and synchronizes it, then that changes the site and changes my changes. If I didn't know exactly what she changed, and I thought it should be somewhere else in the site. Yes, so this is correct. Basically... Let me, let me phrase it in a different way. Like, the default option is that I'm going to go in and do all this stuff by Thursday myself. But I, I want, like, I don't, I don't want, like, and then, like, whatever I've done, you guys will keep building on later. Like, it won't all be done, but I need something to show Linda and her, her team on Thursday. So whatever you do is that much less that I have to do. And then, in the future, whatever additional things like need to be done that haven't been done yet, you'll have time to work on as a team. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, basically, anything that you're able to get done between now and Wednesday just helps me to have less to do. Um, going forward, yes, I agree. You should work on it as a group, or at least you should meet as a group and decide what's going to be done, and then who's going to do what when. Does that answer the question? Mm -hmm. I understand your concern. Um, Timing-wise, I need to do some stuff this week, and like <clears throat> my one of my weaknesses as a professor and as a leader is that I tend to jump in and do too many things myself, rather than like empowering you guys to do it instead. So I know that I need something to show Linda and her folks this week. Um, I don't want to just automatically assume that I'll do it all. So I wanted to give you guys a, a shot at... Basically, I want every place where it says red, like where every place where the text is red right now, um, I want that updated with like the proper story. I just put placeholders in there right now. I want pictures in every box, um, and I want links to another page which has more detail, and it might just say, more detail coming soon. Like, I want there to be a link, a picture, and text describing a couple of different elements which I'm going to, like, list right now. Okay? So, um... If we go back to the Indiegogo page, oh. if we go back to the Indiegogo page and you just take material from here, copy and paste it and edit it a bit, put it into the the Dreamweaver site. Um, this right here, like, hello, my name is Linda Grant, da, da 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 Like, the first sentence here is actually a story about Linda, like, as an entrepreneur. Starting in the second one, it's basically a story about her as a grandma and her original motivation for wanting to do this. And then the third sentence, and then the whole... The third sentence is basically about the actual product. Like, and then the paragraph after, the whole paragraph after this is all about the product. The paragraph after that is all about the product. Um, and the paragraph after that is all about the product. Um, like, I want to take, I want to take the grandma story and tell it in one box. I want to take the actual product potty boss story and tell it in another box. And I want to take the story about Linda as an entrepreneur and an inventor and tell it in a third box. Does that make sense? Um, so 
like the first thing is just to take the information from here and organize it in a different way on the Dreamweaver site and attach pictures to it. Um, and then the second thing is just to attach the right pictures to the right descriptions. Like basically, Linda has three different products. She has the, the, the Potty Boss. She has a bunch of carrying cases and purses and stuff that it goes in. And then she has a docking station, which actually is like a can on the bottom so that you can also use it as a like portable toilet uh, as well as like a covering for uh, public toilets. So there's the, the Potty Boss seat there's all the carrying cases, and there's the docking station that's a, basically a can underneath. Um, what's that? A mini Andy gun. <laughs> you? A mini Andy gun. A, a mini? Andy porta, porta potty. Andy Gump, what's that? That's a brand. Is, brand. is it? Yeah. I never, like, I guess that wasn't a, a porta potty when I was a kid. And I've never had kids, so. Um, like when you go to, like you go oh, to yeah, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yes, I, I still have it. I've, I've never seen that on the, like, I never noticed that brand name. Brand. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, like a mini Indie Gump. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, like, there's a bunch of different images, which uh, I need to save in a different place for you guys, but there's all the stuff that's on, there's all the pictures that are on the, uh, um, pottyboss.me website, which, thank you, Louis, for finding. Would be nice if Linda told me that that website was there. Um, so there's a bunch of pictures on there. I've got a bunch of pictures. Um, I'm going to put all of those pictures in... Right now, they're already on the Dreamweaver website, but they're in a folder that says File Transfer, um, just because I needed a place to stick them all. Um, I need to take all these pictures and put them in another place because it's a technical thing, but if you don't have them in the public.html folder, they won't be displayed when you link them online. So, like, I want you to take all the stuff from the Potty Boss, uh, like, Indiegogo page and the text that you can find on the pottyboss.me site and organize it in... Organize it in a different way. Tell the grandma story, tell the inventor story, tell the actual product story. And then the actual product story is going to have the main potty boss seat, the carrying cases, and the mini Andy Gump. Uh, and then each of those is going to have a link with a bunch of pictures that show each of the three types of products. Make sense? Yeah. Give it your best shot. I'll go in and, like clean it up more for what I need to do with them this week and then we'll we'll be able to as a as a group next week um, you'll have a big chunk of time to just just talk okay we think this should look like this and we should have this and we don't know how to do this but we do know how to do this and this person's going to do this on this day and we'll have a, pl a planning session okay so Yes. Um, it's an interesting thought. Let me let me let me think about it. Let me think about it. Uh, yeah, let me make a note to myself. Yeah, I will. I can. I but I, I can coordinate with. I'm making a note to myself now. A big chunk of time to work on web materials. What's that? Well, you're not. I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, that I thought you said we're. Going to Bakersfield. I, I'm either the seventh or the fourth. I'm leaning towards the fourteenth, actually, not the seventh. But um, we'll. 
I'm going to make sure that next week there's a big chunk of time to work on stuff, okay? Um, either at beginning or end of class. Um, mm, teaching, none, okay. Um, yes, I'll decide whether, like, it's actually kind of an interesting thought that I can sleep in later. I know, I know. Um, yeah, one way or the other, uh, I'll make sure there's a big chunk of time next week to work on stuff. The, the lecture material is actually a lot less dense than what it was this week, so I should be able to go over it more quickly. Um, okay, so that's that. Um, the last thing that I wanted to mention before we call it a day, um, same thing that I said to the uh, same thing that I said to the the Bakersfield folks, like pick a team leader who's going to send me the update email. I don't care who it is. You can rotate as far as I'm concerned. I just need I need an email by Wednesday with a big attached document. Jeremy, here's all the questions, issues, suggestions, etc. And I need somebody to tell me, hey, we, we did our best. Go take a look at the website. This is what we got for, for now. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And I need that by, actually, I need that by the beginning of the day Wednesday because I need time enough to go over everything before I meet with Linda and her folks Wednesday night or Thursday. So I need that. And the last thing... Um, when, like, during the week, if I, like, wanted to have a conference call or a meeting with uh, Linda, even if, if she and I drive out here, or if we, like, link you guys in on Skype or something, what is everybody's, like, I know now for Bakersfield that basically Monday and Wednesday evenings after five, like, I don't know, five of the eight people would be available if I needed to have a project meeting. What's everybody's schedule here? Huh? I can't answer. Well, I don't care about Wednesday. <laughs> like, can, can you do the following? Can you please, like, can you please amongst yourselves figure out, like, during the week, here's a window of time, here's a window of time when maybe not all of you, but at least the majority of you are available to have a meeting. And either Linda and I will drive out here or we'll Skype you in. But I just need to know when people are available so that we can do, like, project update meetings when necessary. So can you guys coordinate? I, rather than listing off everybody right now, I just had all the Bakersfield people send me their available times. And then I could tell by looking at that, okay, well, almost everybody has Wednesday and Monday nights at this time, and pretty much everybody has Saturdays immediately after class. Um, if you guys could coordinate amongst yourselves, that'll save me having to read eight, eight more emails and figure out the same thing for you. Okay? So in that email that you send me on Wednesday, please tell me when you're available during the week to have a meeting about the project. Okay. I'm turning off the recording.